A service founded in Iowa that uses goats to remove weed and brush is moving across the U.S. John Lauritsen spoke to a family in Minnesota that's part of Goats on the Go. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on. On a farm near the town of Renville. <laughs> if there's stuff to eat on the inside, they're happy. Garrett Hovland doesn't need a chainsaw or a tractor. He's clearing out this grove with goats. So we got a couple of goats and started with that. And as you can hear in the background, we got a few more now. <laughs> Garrett is part of Goats on the Go. It's possible you've seen these animals eating buckthorn and weeds around solar panels in the Twin Cities. It's a concept Garrett was pretty sure would work in other parts of the state as well. The goats work fast. 40 of them can clear out an acre in four to five days. That's because they're more like browsers than grazers. So they'd rather eat up into the trees. They're more like a deer. If someone asks for their services, Garrett and his family round up the herd in a trailer and bring them to the site. They put up an electric fence to keep the goats in and predators out. It's like a traveling band with a big appetite. Is there anything they won't eat? Like burning weed sometimes, they don't eat as much, but then sometimes they do. I was thinking another thing, but... <laughs> Garrett's wife, Holly, wasn't so sure about the idea at first, but now spends most of her summer days chasing four kids and 75 goats. <laughs> the entire family gets in on the act. Go find your buddies. It is just a neat way to get to use what we have for another purpose of what they were created for. So I just thought, yeah, let's give it a try. It's safe to say that goats in a grove are just as happy as pigs in mud. We didn't know what to expect as we just started this summer, but it's been going really well and we've enjoyed uh, doing it as a family. 